Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can scale an image in a column chart. As you can see here, I've got the French flag stacked and scaled to represent the number of casualties. Likewise with the UK flag and the Prussian flag. So what I want to do is recreate this chart, well this part of this chart, so I'll just delete it off and then do it again. So basically, I want it from there to there. I don't want to pick up the totals. Insert basic column, 2D column chart. There's my little chart. Just make that a little bit bigger so you can see it better. Let's move that down there. Click on the chart title. Just link it to the table up here. Click in equals and then Waterloo casualties and tick. That joins those two together. So if this ever changes, so just type something there that will change just to undo to bring that back now you can see there that we've got no images whatsoever and there's no image in the background but if i put an image in the background first of all now the quickest way to do it is probably just to double click on the corner there this pane will appear and where you need to go is where it says picture or text to fill now that's just remembering the picture that was there before so normally you would go insert and find the picture either from your file or online or stock images whichever you want so if i go from there these are the pictures i've got there click on that one it's the same picture and it comes in now i've used the transparency tool there to fade that out a bit so it looks like a a watermark if you like so you can actually drag that that's how it would come in normally if i fade that out though you can see that that's now as it was a watermark now, if I bring a picture into these columns, if I click on the red column, each red column is selected. So this will only apply for the red columns. If I go back to the picture option and insert image from file, this time I'm going to get a portrait figure. I'll go for the Duke of Wellington, just double click on him. So he's coming scra uh, scratched, stretched and faded. So that's the transparency. So I need to pull that back across. So now I can see the whole picture. To do the stack and scale for this video is this option here, look, stack and scale. And then the units is set, it's set to one at the moment, but depending on what your data is, so if you look at the figures, um, this is the French, I've actually put the Duke of Wellington in the French one, but there's 30,000 casualties there, so there's quite a few, 23 there. So I'm gonna say for every 10,000 casualties, I want a picture stacked like that so 10,000 let's go for 5,000 let's just see how that works 5,000 maybe not as so that looks a little bit better so 5,000 if I click on this one I'll put a picture of Napoleon in there just so people don't think I'm being biased insert stock images Napoleon there he is crowning himself again you go across to stack and scale and you should use the same number of casualties in this case press enter and then that one and the last one i'll do will be the prussians insert from file there's a prussian general and then stack and scale 5000 like so there you go that's how you can use the stack and scale feature to put a picture in to represent the figure that you want to set so that could be car sales or product sales if you've got nice nice useful uh, cars are quite common sometimes people manufacture things that aren't very very good as a picture so it doesn't make much sense to do it like that but if you've got if your products are something that looks cool why not have a picture of it in the actual bar chart but that's all i want to talk about on this one thank you for your time i'll catch you on the next one